Today, we're talking about everything you need to know about the elk rut in Estes Park. Let's get started. Hi, we're Jeff and Julie Abel with the Abel team here in beautiful Estes Park, Colorado. And today, we are spending time in Rocky Mountain National Park showing you everything about the elk rut. So one of the questions we get a lot is, what is the elk rut? Um, which is a, is a great question for people who aren't familiar with elk. Well, Julie, will you explain the elk rut? Well, the elk rut is when uh, daddy elk and a mom elk. I think that's, that's probably enough. So the elk rut happens here in Estes Park in September and October. Um, so if you're up here, uh, there's a good chance you're going to see a big group of elk gathered together. Um, and as the elk rut progresses, as the elk move out of the higher elevations down into the lower elevations of the park and downtown Estes Park, the big bull elk, the older elk, will start rounding up a harem of female elk. And what they'll do is they'll round up that harem to mate. And as they begin to round up their harem, they will fight with the other male elk. So you'll see a lot of, a lot of the big elk fighting with each other, trying to establish dominance to, to mate with the females in the herd. So the, the, the male elk are the ones with the antlers, the females do not have antlers. So that's how you can tell them apart. And the male elk, part of the ritual of them rounding up their harem is bugling. And once you've heard an elk bugle, you'll never forget that sound. Ever. So that's what it sounds like when an elk bugles and that is their mating call. It attracts the females and it also warns other males to stay away. So the mating season is, is really a fun time for the elk, but it's also a fun time for the residents because we really get to see nature running its course here in, in the mountains. Often we get asked where a great place to see the elk is inside Rocky Mountain National Park. And so we're in Horseshoe Park right now, right next to Sheep Lakes. And this is a great place to watch the rut. Also, Moraine Park is a popular location uh, to find elk and upper beaver meadows in the park as well. Uh, those are the great locations during September and October. Uh, also, there are plenty of places in town you can see them as well, Julie. So in town, great places for elk viewing would be actually the golf course, if you can imagine that, as well as up and down um, the river walk. The elk are in fields, open fields in town, Stanley Hotel. Yeah. Anytime this time of year, you're gonna be able to just drive around and see an elk in town. If you see a lot of traffic stopping for no reason in the middle of the road, That's there's probably a clue, a, a clue that they're elk around. A couple of things, always kind of keep your distance from the elk. Uh, the males are very dangerous during the rut. They will charge people and every year we have tourists that get too close and um, the elk get a little bit aggravated. So uh, keep your distance. About 75 yards is a safe distance during the rut uh, to stay away from the bull elk. A couple other safety things inside the park. Uh, a lot of the meadows are shut down from 5 p.m. until 10 a.m. Uh, from September and October as well, uh, just to keep people away from the elk during the rut and not to disturb them during this important time of the season. So that is the elk rut. People drive up here from all over the country to, to watch elk mate essentially. So um, as weird as that sounds, it's a very popular thing. And in September and October in the park, you will see cars pulled over alongside of the road, people with lawn chairs waiting for usually evening time for, for the rut to begin. All right, let's go find some elk here in the park. Okay. So we are back in Estes. We hope you have enjoyed this video on the elk rut. We're just gonna be honest, sometimes you could spend the day in a park or an evening in the park and you come up short, you hit all those hot spots. No elk. Mm -mm. What we usually find when that happens is if you don't find the elk in the park, they're probably back in town. And so we're here at the visitor center parking garage 
and it's right on the eighth hole of the nine hole golf course here in town. And if you don't see them anywhere else, there's a good chance you'll see them right here in the middle of downtown Estes Park. Check out these elk on the golf course. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day. Bye. Bye. If you're bringing young kids to the park with you during September and October, be prepared to teach some life lessons to those youngins. Daddy, what is that big elk doing to the other elk? Is a popular question we hear. It can get a hear. little X-rated. <laughs> We're not gonna lie.